2015 has been the greatest year of my entire life. It's also the year I started vlogging. So if you want to know the specifics of 2015, start here and don't stop watching until you're here. If that's too much to ask, here's a brief overview. Started the year with a new baby. We didn't sleep much, but she was super cute. Took the kid to Cape Town. Babies love Cape Town. Everyone loves Cape Town. Back to New York for a minute, then took the entire family on a trip. Saw some turtles, didn't sleep much, and jumped off a cliff I probably shouldn't have. I turned 34 and thought, fuck it, I should start daily vlogging. Saw a goat, lost my camera, and flew home on a private jet. It wasn't mine. S someday though. Back to the city. Back to work. Made a 27 second movie that explained the totality of life. Crashed my bike, got a new computer, broke my new computer, ran, 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 and chopped my hair off because I hate the term man bun. Went back to MIT, got recognized by two cute girls. Presented at the Shorty Awards where I saw Jonas Brother. He thinks we're friends. I think we're friends. Made a movie about spray painting an Apple Watch. The media loved it. I taught Justin Bieber how to take a selfie, then rode my bike to a fashion party. Spent way too much time on the red carpet. Made a movie called Fat and Lazy about being fit and focused. Got a motorized unicycle. No one figured out how to ride it. Everyone got hurt. Hung out of a helicopter. Turned out my safety harness hadn't been clipped in. Surprised the wife for Mother's Day. Oh my god. Then had lunch with Al Gore. That's what I Thank you, Casey. Headed to Vegas for the Billboard Music Awards. They weren't screaming for me. They were screaming for him. Finally let Owen ride the Vespa. He's 17 now. It wasn't warm enough for the beach, but we went anyway. Went to another fashion party. I never know how to act at these things. Candace took me to Midtown where I met a shady diamond dealer. I smashed my camera with an ax, then was introduced to my first hoverboard. Told the story of our honeymoon. Left out the sexy stuff, left in the drunk stuff. Give me that. Went to the gay pride parade with Ben Brown, saw a half-naked girl and a lot of half-naked men. Pride day is the best day to be in the city. Posted my 100th vlog, then went to LA with Jerome and met a bunch of his Vine friends. They were all super young but really smart. I finally shared what Bean is. Got a ton of press and way more downloads than we wanted. It was very exciting but super scary. We were not ready. Rode my one wheel up the beach. Don't do that. Electronics and seawater do not get along. I fell in love, deeply, deeply in love, with an electric skateboard. Went to VidCon and met some fans. Did my first meetup. Fired a t-shirt cannon into a tree and then gave a serious talk to a couple thousand people. Casey, nice job! I wrote my speech backstage in five minutes. Back to New York, back to work, back to my skateboard. Candace got super drunk on sake. People keep sending me stuff. Went to Texas on a private jet. It wasn't mine. Someday though, where I watched Graham get married. We tried to cheat at the egg toss and were the first to be disqualified. First to be disqualified. Went to Houston for a funeral. Didn't know how to vlog about that, so I vlogged about climbing a tree at a country club I didn't belong to. Hit one million YouTube subscribers. Flew to Ohio to hang out with Roman Atwood. He's a fun guy. I like him. I like his kid. I like his car. I didn't like the party bus. It smelled like puke. The giant Hummer smelled better, but I thought the lighting was going to give me epilepsy. Back to California for the MTV Music Awards. Jack and I got nachos and hot dogs. Amber Rose had the best outfit, and Kanye wouldn't shut the hell up. Went surfing with Luthu, then back to New York City. Broke another camera. Oscar and I ate $12 cheeseburgers at McDonald's, and then I made some movies with Devin Supertramp. His camera was super heavy. Reviewed the iPhone 6S video camera. Put two naked girls in the thumbnail, which got me 3 million views. Went to Mexico City and gave a talk. Then got mobbed leaving the stage, and security had to carry me out. Left Mexico for San Francisco, where I snuck into the St. Regis and dropped my new cell phone into the pool. It never worked again. Met Candace in LA and went to the fanciest wedding since William and Kate. We wore traditional Indian attire. Well, I did. Candace wore half of hers. Raced around in a stranger's Maserati, then flew back to New York City for 18 hours before heading to Spain for one day where I gave a talk in a bullfighting ring. Celebrated my 200th vlog, then broke my new, new iPhone. That's crap. Borrowed a McLaren, but gave it back because I prefer my boosted board. Took Owen to Istanbul for the weekend. It rained the entire time. I love traveling with that kid. He makes everything fun. Jesse and I flew around New York City on a magic carpet. That video made 13 and a half million people smile. I love making people smile. Never try to make a movie and run a marathon. That was a tough day. Gave a talk in San Antonio. Casey, nice day. Come on up. 
and then visited the Alamo. I didn't want to, I felt like I had to. That's my favorite scene in Pee-wee's Big Adventure. <laughs> Met Candace, Francine, and Owen in Houston. Honestly, I have no idea what we were doing there. Drank some daiquiris in Cuba, then got stuck there because of bad weather and nearly missed Francine's first birthday. I had to charter a helicopter to get us home in time. Got super drunk at the office Christmas party. Didn't get drunk at all for SantaCon. Then spent the last few weeks in LA before flying home on New Year's Eve, which I spent alone in my office writing this video. 2016 is here and this will be the greatest year of my entire life.